Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to line a bag. This is actually going to be a fanny pack. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to line a bag without having to sew and just using solely crochet. So what you're going to need is your bag that you're going to line, some yarn. Um, I try to use a similar color. I try to use a yarn that's a little bit thinner. Um, this is like a worsted weight. This is more of like a weight three, but anything that's like a weight two or weight three will make this process a little bit easier. You're going to need some fabric to line your bag and then a smaller crochet hook. I have anything from a 2.25 um, to a 3.75. And then um, you're going to either need something like one of these tools. It's kind of like a little pizza cutter to cut out your fabric or just scissors. Um, and then the last thing you're going to need is a skip blade. You can also use a sharp pointing tool like this to do the holes. This is going to take a lot longer. Um, I use this tool all the time. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, and you're going to see why it just makes really even easy holes to crochet into. Okay. So the first thing we're going to want to do, um, is I like to just fold my fabric in half and I have a cutting mat that I'm cutting on because I'm going to use the pizza slicer. But again, you can just trace this with a marker or fabric pen and then just use scissors to cut out around your design. Um, and we need two of the exact same shape. So what I'm going to do is just lay my bag out on the table. Turn it this way and on the fabric kind of laid out and then I'm just gonna cut around the outside of this leaving mm, I don't know half an inch to an inch around the outside to help us have some seam allowance there um, to do what we need to do So then we have our fabric here and you have a right side and a wrong side of your fabric. You're going to want to put right sides together. So the, the pretty sides together, stack them on top of each other. And now we are going to begin to seam around the bag here. And then on the top, we can choose to fold it back and crochet around the top to kind of give it a more finished edge. Um, but in all honesty, the crochet kind of pulls it down and you don't really see this edge all that much. So it doesn't matter if it's folded or if it's straight too much to the finished look. Um, it's just about personal preference. But once we have these stacked on top of each other, I like to use a few pins or fabric clips, um, safety, uh, safety pins or clothesline pins, anything to kind of just make sure that your fabric doesn't move will help. And this just helps keep our holes lined up when we put them in and need to crochet the two layers together. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my skip blade tool and I am going to create holes using my skip blade and I'm basically going to run this like half an inch to a quarter inch away from the edge all the way around and you want to make sure that you're pressing firmly enough to get through both layers so what that did is put little holes about as wide as this blade and then a space between the next holes and we're going to take one of our smaller crochet hooks we're going to try and find the hole 
on the end here. And we are just going to tie on and we are going to crochet into these holes. So I just tie it on here, pull it through the hole, single crochet. I like to chain one between my stitches here. You don't have to, it's just personal preference. I just think that helps keep the fabric from getting scrunched. Um, I am using my 3.5 millimeter hook. The holes are gonna be a little bit hard to see, but as you can see, they're evenly spaced out and um, I know that all my holes are going along through here. That's why the pins are kind of important because they'll help hold your fabric together so your holes are stacked. But basically we're gonna crochet, I'm gonna single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, all the way around until you get over here. And this is what I was saying, if you had a sharp tool like an owl, I know I don't say that right, everyone <laughs> says on all of my videos, but if you had a sharp tool like this, you could poke your own holes throughout the fabric. Um, but I just find that the skip blade gives it a way more even um, hole distribution, which makes your stitches look a lot more professional and neater. Um, you actually won't see these stitches from inside the bag because um, this is going to be between the bag and the outside of the bag. Um, you guys will see what I mean when I construct it. So it's not a huge deal if these stitches aren't um, that even, but you will want the ones on the top because they will be visible when you open the bag to be as even as possible. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far and I'm going to meet you guys all the way over here on this opposite edge. Okay, now I have single crocheted chain one all the way around, making sure I was going through both layers of fabric. I can take my pins out because we are not going to be seaming these two sides together because this is our opening um, and I am going to fold back my edges, um, which I do need to pin down to do so that I can show you guys what this seam will look like. Let me go on this side and pin these back. And you're going to want to stay tied on so you can just do one continuous thing and you have, don't have to weave in as many ends. And then I'm actually going to fold this bottom side underneath so that when I lay this down, I'm only going through this layer of fabric, not the other sides. I'm going to take my skip blade, You may have to move your pins slightly. And then I'm just going to do this side and then I will use my skip blade and go through the other side over there once this side is done. So here in the corner, I'm going to chain one after my single crochet. I'm going to find my hole. That was made by my skip blade. And I'm just going to single crochet, chain one. single crochet, chain one, same thing that we've been doing this whole time. 
outside my window is everything pale and cold can't seem to pick up my phone we're going to continue this same pattern here it can be a little tricky to get your hook through the holes because you can't always see them so i have found that if i just kind of stick where you know it should be approximately a quarter inch over and i stick my hook over there and i kind of shift the fabric around the hook will just pop through um right where the hole is generally shift it through but we're going to continue this same thing all the way across over here then we're going to flip it over we're going to push this layer back Use our skip blade, skip blade, then single crochet around this side. Um, I'll show you when we get over the, to this end just so you can see it one more time. Um, and then I'll show you how to attach this to your bag. Okay, so I've gone all the way across here. Now I'm flipping it over. And again, I'm going to push this back layer way back. And then I'm just going to run my get laid right across and then I'm going to continue my single crochet chain one all the way around Start right here in this corner. Chain one. Chain one and all the way across until you reach over here and then we're going to tie off. Um, and then we're going to seam it inside the bag. Okay, so when you get to the end, I like to just hook back up to the other side and slip stitch it. And then I will, well, actually you don't have to tie off. Um, I think it just makes this end a little bit more secure when you do, but if you flip this inside out, you will see that this is what the inside of your liner is going to look like. You can see your stitches on the seam. And again, this will work for any bag. If you had a square bag, a circle bag, whatever it is, um, these same instructions can be used for any type of bag. So now we are going to take our bag and take our liner and we are going to stick it inside and now we are going to stitch all the way around and you're going to single crochet or slip stitch whatever one you prefer through both layers of fabric. So one thing I like to do just to make sure, because your stitch counts are probably gonna be different on your bag than they are for your liner. So you can take bobby pins, safety pins, clothesline pins, you can use these pins and just clip around uh, in just a few spots. I like to do both corners and then I like to get about in the middle so that I can make sure that my bag is all lined up. So I'm gonna do the middle on this side. Okay. And then if you're already tied on, if you stay tied on, you can tie on there. If not, um, you can just tie on wherever you want. I'm going to tie on over here. And I'm going to pull through and I'm going to single crochet because that's what I prefer. Um, and I'm just going to go through here 
and I'm just gonna keep in mind that I want my sides to line up where my clips are. I want that same tension throughout. So that might mean you skip stitches on one side, you don't skip stitches. Um, just wanna match it up as best you can. So I'm just going through the trim I just added and then the layer of my fabric on the back and making a stitch. So that is how you are going to seam your liner with your bag. You're just gonna keep going through. Okay, and then I'm almost at the middle here, so I'm just gonna take my clip off and try my best to keep the same tension as I move across. I find it easy if I just kind of grab the fabric in my hand that holds my yarn um, and that will help keep it like kind of lined up so you don't have it where you have a lot of extra bag fabric or you have a bunch of extra liner but you're out of stitches on the other side that will just help keep it without getting any ripples on either side is everything Seems to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind this clothes I know the sound So I have done all the way across the front and just remember that when you put your liner in you want the right side to be facing up and the wrong side is going to be facing the fabric of your bag because you can't see it from the outside but when you open your bag you want the pretty fabric to be showing so I'm just gonna go over here around the corner. I'm gonna shove all this extra fabric in and down. I'm gonna shove any tails I have back down there because we don't need to worry about those. And I'm gonna keep going to the corner here. And sometimes I like to put two um, stitches in the corner just to help give you a little bit extra um, give so it's not like scrunching the corner of the bag in. You can do two or three stitches in the same corner stitch. And then you're just gonna keep stitching right along the other side. Again, you want to keep your tension good um, and making sure that you're matching it all the way up. And I'm gonna meet you guys back over here and um, show you how to tie off and we'll be done. Okay, and now I am back to the stitches I started on and I'm just gonna hook back to that first stitch, slip stitch it, tie off, and once you weave in your ends, which honestly, you can just kind of weave them in between your outer layer and your inner liner and they will disappear. But you now have completely lined your bag. Um, on my fanny packs specifically, you're going to want to single crochet or slip stitch these sides together um, about a good two to three inches in on either side to kind of give it a little bit more security. You guys could add clips or um, the magnetic snaps. There's a lot of different things you can do to add closures to this bag to make sure your things don't fall out. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and maybe you guys will feel a little bit more confident about adding liners inside of your bags, especially if you don't know how to sew. I know that can be really daunting. I just hate getting my sewing machine out, honestly. Um, 
but yeah i hope you guys found this helpful and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you found it helpful definitely subscribe if you want to see more tutorials crochet patterns um i've been doing some videos on my new laser engraver machine uh, that's how i make cool leather tags and stuff like that for my crochet where there's a lot of things you can do with uh, a laser engraver that will help you out in your crochet business um, but if you're interested in any of that, definitely give me a follow and I will talk to you guys next time.